Well, that was just another thing of when we started, we didn't have any of our own used barrels. And um, we got a hold of a, a bunch of w once used bourbon barrels and put whiskey in those. And um, that was kind of the thing that probably, you know, showed a little bit maybe of our inexperiences over, over the years we kept tasting it and we thought it was pleasant but it just it it didn't seem to to have you know that complexity and that depth and um after we put filled those initial barrels we didn't rush to do any more used um bourbon barrels we concentrated on the 18th century and the straight rye whiskey and i remember at about eight and a half years old we tasted those um, that whiskey, the, the what became the hodlings again, and I remember we all just kind of stopped, you know, and and um, kind of looked at each other like, oh, now we're getting somewhere, you know. This <laughs> it was really good, you know, and it it really changed, but it took a long time. It was it was you know much different than doing new barrels, and um, we we ended up Fritz wanted to do something special for the 100th anniversary of the, the 1906 earthquake. And so our first bottling of Hodlings was um, for, the, for, for that. And it was as an 11-year-old. Wow. And so, um, and so, you know, now we do it, but, you know, we don't have very much, you know, a sm small supply again of that. And it, as soon as we could start doing our own used charred barrels, we started using those. So. so that supply is being replenished then slowly. Yeah, slowly. And how many bottles do you even release a year of the old Petrero? Well, we, we got down to, um, you know, that first year we did a couple barrels and then most years one barrel. Wow. So we're talking about, you know, 240 bottles or something. You know, not, not very many. Man. Yeah. But the whiskey's so good. Yeah. And so that initial... Um, initial group of barrels ran out as an 18 year old so from 11 to 18 we released something every year mm -hmm. and um after the 18th year that was the last barrel of that initial batch of barrels and so um yeah soon we'll probably do another you know another barrel i hope yeah. so yeah we we don't have a, a definite time for aging on that we just kind of taste and decide you know when to, when to do it 